Most folks have loose ends at death. Sometimes it's things they always wanted to do. Sometimes it's people they didn't get to see before they died. Most people owe money at death too, whether it's regular monthly household bills or medical bills. So who pays these bills? And is your family gonna be liable? Here with the answers is my law partner, Mike Solomon. Hey Hello, there, Ari. Mike. Yeah. Now, and it's, it's pretty much always true, people do owe money when they pass away. So, and it's not so clear always who's gonna be able to pay those bills. Right, so you know, uh, most of the times there's enough funds in the estate or the trust to pay all bills and it's not a real, real issue. Sometimes though, there's not enough money and that's when you have some issues you have to address. Okay, so what can be done then? Well, let me divide it into trust assets and probate assets. The rules are clear. Probate estate has to pay the bills if certain rules are followed. Surprisingly, it's not entirely clear as to trust, whether trust have to pay the debts, uh, creditors uh, of the uh, decedents. And that's mm -hmm. just depends on the document. It just is not entirely clear. Okay. So what happens if there isn't a probate estate opened for a creditor to you know, file a claim and, and have the probate estate pay? Okay, so the clear part of the rules are that if you, if, uh, the claims against a probate estate have to be filed within six months of the date of death. As I mentioned, it's not entirely clear the rules as to trust, whether they're subject to claims or what the time frames are, but a probate estate, six months from the date of death. So, uh, and you can't just, as a creditor, just send a bill to the house. You have to actually have an estate opened up and the creditors have to send a notice, a, a bill or something to the executor saying, hey, you owe me money. And then, it's, and then the rules kick in. If you don't do that, if you're past, past the six months, it's too late. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people don't open up estates in the first six months. And if that is the only way the creditor can make a claim is uh, they have to open up the estate. Now for small bills, you know, someone owes you, you owe someone $100, they're not gonna take the time and the right. effort to open up the estate. If it's a big bill, then that creditor can open up the estate and start the process going. Okay. Then, after you have all that, so you have all these, these debts and assets, let's say there's not enough uh, money to pay the debts. So then the probate rules, the, the uh, higher vice code has an order of how debts are paid. First is the court, the court gets paid first. The second, the most important, is the lawyers get paid of next. Course. Okay, so lawyers <laughs> get paid. Then it starts going down a list, uh, hospital bills and other bills. So general creditors, like magazines and things like that, they're probably gonna get little or nothing after all these other debts are paid off. So that's, that's the process that you go through. Okay, so the family doesn't necessarily get stuck. Right, so the executor is the one who has to worry about it. So if you've been appointed executor of the estate, you've gotta make sure that you follow the rules, because if you pay money out to everybody, and someone files a claim within that six month period, you're on the hook as the executor if you gave everyone the money. So generally with our clients, if they're not sure there's enough money, we say wait the six months, make sure all the bills have come in, make sure you have enough assets, pay those off, and then you can start handing out the money to all the beneficiaries. All right, all right. good okay. information. Where there's a will, there's a way to deal with the debts. The family doesn't necessarily get hit with a bill they don't know about and can't, aff can't afford. Thanks to Mike for this information and call him if you have any more questions. The number's next. Call Solomon Steiner and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization or log on to www.ssnplaw.com. Thanks for joining us. Until next week, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. If you'd like to join our kitchen conversation, visit our website, www.goldenopportunities.tv. Like us on Facebook. Call us at 440-742-GO-TV or email us at kitchen at goldenopportunities.tv. We'd love to hear from you.